What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this sub button to be notified for future readings. This is Oracle Card Reading for June of 2022. This could resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. It's too many. Sorry. Um, yeah. So, um, I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, I'm sorry. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs. Way too many. That's four. Um, yeah. If you choose to do so. Okay. Um, this is Oracle Card Reading for June of 2022. This can resonate with Pisces in any aspects of your charts. One message may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So it's very important only to the messages in that resonate with the rest. Free general Oracle Card Reading. Okay, so I received two channelings as I was meditating on your June of 2022 uh, energy. I heard uh, big changes to a business soon, and I also that was the first one. And the second one, I heard um, um, a drug smuggling operation is about to be shut down soon in a business situation. Company is what I heard um, through many series of chain events. So changes to a business. So that could be changes to your business or somebody you're connected to's business, Pisces. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates with some kind of change to some somebody's business, whether it's your business or somebody you're connected to's business. And the interesting one is the drug smuggling um, about to use, I heard it's in a company. It's in a company. So I think many people in this, I'm feeling a corporation. I didn't hear a corporation, but I'm feeling like large corporation energy. And I'm just being real. I didn't hear it was, but I'm feeling it is. Um, and I'm feeling many people were a part of this shit. But for many series of chain events, I heard it's about to be shut down. So I don't know if you're going to help shut this down or you were a part of the drug smuggling operation or are a part of the drug sm smuggling operation or what have you. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But I will tell you there is a drug smuggling operation going on. I'm feeling in a large corporate corporate entity um, with many employees involved, possibly, and through many series of chain events, it's about to be shut down. So I don't know if you are about to help shut it down, um, if you're investigating this or, or about to investigate this and you're about to help shut this shit down, or you are a drug smuggler, part of this shit. Only you know your story, not anybody else, Pisces, so you have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? So we have transmutation, night, nightingale, bat. The temple path. Number 12 or 29 could be very significant numbers in one's life, possibly 12 or 29. It could be possible ages of you or a child you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life in any shape, form, or fashion, 12 or 29. This is for June of 2022. However, everyone's on different time in life has. So um, for some of you guys, it could possibly resonate at the end of May. For some, June. For some, uh, past June. Only you know your story, not anybody else. There's tons of people in the world. So like I said, everybody's on different time of life has. So, it, you know, it resonates at different times for different people. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Pisces. If it resonates for you. Because this is a free general oracle card reading. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. I think that's the changes to the business. If you guys, uh, if one of you guys is about to make changes to your business, I feel this could go with the business energy. For some, it could be somebody else about to make um, changes to their business, but you plug it in how it resonates.
and boot increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals i'm feeling business energy all up in here with these two and i'm just being straight up so kind of change the business energy i'm feeling for some you're about to make changes to your business for some it could be somebody else about to make changes to their business for some you could be dealing with the air sign or a um fire sign if you are they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Behavior, Jupiter charts, if you are, because uh, we have Nightingale Spirit and Bad Spirit, which is Air Sign Energy and Fire Sign Energy. Nightingale. A Taurus is about to reveal very important information on the past about a very toxic Libra. A Pisces is about to be shocked. Federal agents. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. And there you go. That's confirmation. My fat boy tried to, my fat boy just tried to jump up. Oh, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Go ahead, go ahead. Hold on, hold on. Go, go to the, go around, go out the back, Gavin. Sir, uh, sorry, I, sorry. Our door is stuck. I've got to uh, get a door replaced. He's coming around from the back, okay? I apologize. Thank you for letting him go. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. What time is, is he going to get back? Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, go, go around. Okay, I'm so sorry. I am so, so, so sorry. I think some of you guys are having distractions. I think you're having distractions, which I knew that was coming, but I didn't realize my front door was going to get stuck either. So, um, couldn't get out the front door. Maybe one of you guys is um, having trouble getting out of something. Maybe you're having trouble getting out of something. You feel stuck. You feel trapped. Or you have felt stuck or trapped. Um, how that resonates. Because literally, my front door will not open. My son had to go out the back door to go to his movie with his friends. I'm going to have to order a new door. So, I mean, I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates. Everything that happens in a reading happens for a reason. And I hope y'all didn't see my big butt, but I was trying to talk to the nice man through the window. So, you plug it in how it resonates. But, um, you plug it in how it resonates. But, anyways, I heard a Taurus is about to basically, um, whoever this Taurus is, is about to um it sounds like um provide information to federal agents i heard on a, a very toxic libra of the past um um you plug it in how it resonates so that this is uh nightingales are very loud they're very loud and they um they're loud and proud like nightingales are they're loud and proud and they just speak it they speak 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 their voices are beautiful and they're loud but they Oh, like they just do it. They do the damn thing. This is what this Taurus is about to do. I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you. So I feel whoever you are, Pisces, you didn't think this Taurus was going to do it, but they're about to do it. They are about to do it to save their ass. Okay, I heard they're about to do it to save their ass. Holy shit. So they're about to quack on this Libra. 
uh, whoever this Libs is and how they resonate. Only you know who this Libra and this Taurus is in your life, so you have to plug it in how it resonates. They can have Libra or Taurus in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Midheaven, and Jupiter charts. But it's a low vibrational Libra, I'll tell you that. Um, but the Taurus is about to use Air Sign Nightingale energy, and you see how that beak is open? They're about to, ah, to the federal agents um, or agent. How oh, that resonates? Bat. A Pisces is about to have a huge wake-up call about another dark side Pisces. This Pisces is about to, re re one, report one of them to Child Protective Services. One, report one of them to their manager. Oh, my Lord. Lord, there's a lot of reporting to managers, federal agents, a lot of quacking and Speaking out their gay nightingale type voice out their beak. You plug it in how it resonates. Whoever you are and how this applies, Pisces, you are another Pisces. If this resonates for you, you can be masculine or femme Pisces, but you're dealing with another Pisces, masculine or femme Pisces. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you the high vibrational Pisces or the low vibrational Pisces? But you have vibrational Pisces. You're about to get a wake up call on the low vibrational Pisces. It sounds like in your workplace for some. For some, it's I don't feel it's in your workplace. It's outside your workplace. One, you're about to report this low vibrational toxic Pisces. One, to child protective services. So it's involving child or children. I think they might be abusing child or children. That's exactly what I think. Um, or neglecting them. They're either neglecting them or abusing them. Well, neglect is abuse. Um, they're doing something very negatively to child or children. However, that resonates. You're about to report them to child protective services for one. For one, you're about to um, report them to your manager. So I think this is in a workplace situation. This is the dark side, dark energy Pisces. They could have, um, this This is their dark energy. You're about to pick up on their dark vibes, their dark energy. I think it's about to be something they say or something they do. Maybe they leave their children under, unattended for a day or two days or two weeks. Maybe they... Um, Maybe they're starving their kids. Maybe they're spending all their money at the club and their kids haven't eaten for five days. Maybe they, um, or what have you. I mean, why, whatever reason you light side Pisces is about to one report a dark side Pisces to child protective services for one and one report a low vibrational Pisces to, um, um, uh, your manager. One, it is drug smuggling. Oh my God, one is drug smuggling, and I heard in here a drug smuggling business um, in, in, a, in a company, I'm feeling a company corporate entity is about to be shut down. So I think one of you light side Pisces is about to come across this dark side Pisces in a workplace situation with the drug smuggling is what I feel. This is the drug smuggling energy or the dark side energy of the um, Piscean abuser of either their kids or somebody else's kids with Child Protective Service reporting. For one, it is um, some kind of drug smuggling energy in a, a workplace situation. I'm feeling corporate entity energy. Um, and then you're about to, light side Pisces, you're about to tell the truth. You're about to report, report, report with the Nightingale energy. Holy crap. Transmutation. A serious plastic surgery nightmare has is about to wake up at Pisces in a huge way. For one, it already has. About to, they're about to go through a spiritual awakening of how they treated an individual in the past. About to make huge changes in their life and tell the truth. Oh, okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So for one of you guys, you've already had a plastic surgery scare, it sounds like. For one, uh, I heard a plastic surgery nightmare scare. So, my God. 
whatever uh, that could have been the botox going bad for some of you guys for some it could be something else but some kind of plastic surgery scare um however that resonates or was that botox going bad in capricorns botox going bad was either in here or capricorns i think it might have been um caps you'll have to i'll have to go back and check it um however that resonates botox is um plastic i mean well that's not not it's not i don't know i've never had botox but whatever it is some kind of black plastic surgery scare whether it was invasive or non-invasive uh, i'm feeling probably invasive for a lot of you guys some has already happened for some it's about to happen however that resonates and applies in one's life but um i heard it's waking you up and you're realizing basically that um um you um uh, of the way you've treated a particular person in the past. I heard it's going to cause you to make huge changes. Um, some in your life and some to tell the truth, I think, on the past um, of how you treated this person. I feel for some you lied on this person in a huge ass way or you tried to manipulate a situation. However, that resonates and applies in your life. But at least one of you guys is going to transmute the energy and you're about to tell the truth. Um, but for one of you guys, it sounds like it's going to take some kind of plastic surgery scare or already has taken a plastic surgery scare to make you tell the truth, to transmute changes in yourself, and to transmute with the truth. Um, for some, it could have been a fire sign or air sign you lied on, possibly, because you have fire sign and air sign energy in here. Only you know you're storing out anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. The temple path. Moving is about to become very, very, very significant in a Piscean's life. And one Pisces wants to move, but they are financially stuck. Okay, I heard moving is about to become very, very significant in one Piscean's life, but, um, and one, they want to move, but they're financially stuck. So for one, it sounds like you're about to relocate. Um, it sounds like you have the money to do it, and you're about to relocate. The temple path you made the decision you're about to move your that's relocation energy in this aspect for one sounds like you have the money to do it for one i heard you want to move but you don't have the money to do it you don't have the financial avenues to do it so the temple path in this aspect is the actual physical re relocation for one and for one you the dreaming of wanting to move but you can't do it because you don't have the financial um, backing to do it um, so that could be um, the regret energy too um, of how maybe you treated this person in such a shitty way in the past or you didn't make proper choices and then you got yourself financially stuck possibly only you know your story not anybody else you a unicorn use your intuition to make beneficial changes A definite decrease in a home business is definitely coming. Know this. For some, it's a reader. For some, it's a prostitute. For some, it's home decorating. Okay, I heard a definite decrease in a business is a uh, home business is definitely definitely coming. For some, it's a reader. For some, it's a, um, a prostitute. For some, it is home decorating. Um, so I feel this could be you or somebody you're connected to a lot of business energy in here, a lot of business energy. Um, it, I feel you could be the reader or somebody else could be the reader, but somebody's reader, uh, some, some reader's business is about to decrease, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Um, so you're either going to make your, uh, use your intuition to make beneficial changes to your business if it's decreasing or somebody else possibly, but I feel for a lot of you guys, it might be you because it's your reading. But you, but energies can be reversed. So you plug it in, how it resonates for some. For some, it's a prostitute. So only you know if you're a prostitute, not anybody else. So, uh, you know, if you're, if that message resonates for you and you're a prostitute, just know your business is about to go down. 
If you're not, and you know that's not for you, it could be a prostitute you're connected to. But somebody's prostitute prostitution business is about to go down. And I feel it's like a so you, you know, obviously I don't feel it's the freaking bunny ranch, just saying, just saying. Um, I feel it's an illegal prostitution business, but I think they do it on their own. I don't think they use escort service. I think they do it like sole proprietorship, like I'm a sole proprietorship reader. I think they're a sole proprietorship prostitute. They do it all on their own. Whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, maybe they're going to make beneficial changes to their prostitution business or shut it down. Take a different path with the temple path. If um, whoever they are and however they resonate, whether they're a Pisces or somebody else. And for one of them, they're a home decorator, whether it's a Pisces or um, somebody else. Um, and their business is about to go down. So maybe they're going to use their intuition to make beneficial changes on that as well um, and transmute the energy. But we have prostitute readers and home decorators in here. You plug it in how it resonates. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. A Pisces is about to see another reader's business go up in a very positive way. It's going to make this reader make huge changes to their, their business. For some, you are a reader. Okay. Art of Pisces is about to see a reader's business go up in a very positive way. So if this resonates for you, Pisces, um, for some you are a reader, I heard, for some you're not. Um, but who, whether you're a reader or not and that message applies for you, you're about to see a reader's business go up in a very positive way. So it could be another Pisces, re, uh, another Pisces reader that you're about to see the business go up in a positive way or another sign. How that uh, applies in one's life, only, only you know your story not anybody else. For some it could be air sign or a fire sign possibly. Um, or not. But how that resonates, it sounds like once you see this reader's business go up it's not gonna be yours it's gonna be somebody else's your business go up in a very positive way i heard it sounds like you're going to transmute the energy inside you with you have a business if this resonates for you i feel you have a business too whether it's a reader business or not i'm not sure but it's going to cause you to make changes in your business too because you're about to see this reader's business go up so whether you, I heard for some you are readers for some you're not so you have to plug it in how it resonates but it's going to make you transmute the energy because you're about to see success and prosperity and growth in this reader. So it's going to make you transmute the energy and make um, make changes to your business, whether you are a reader or not. However, that resonates and applies in one's life, Pisces. Um, and you're going to use your intuition to make the beneficial changes and increase the efforts in your goals and your business. I mean, we have business energy very strong in here. You plug it in how it resonates. An air sign is going to try to manipulate a Pisces very soon. For some, it's an earth sign. It'd be very, very, very smart to keep your boundaries. Know this. Okay, I heard for some of you guys, an air sign is going to try to manipulate you soon. For some, an earth sign is. So for some, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or for some, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo is going to try to manipulate you soon, I heard. So manipulation. Um... However, they're going to try to manipulate you. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But I heard it'd be smart to set boundaries from this person. So it wouldn't be smart to give in to the manipulation. Um, whatever kind of manipulation tactics they're going to try to put on you soon. Um, I heard it'd be smart to keep your boundaries from this person or people. For some, it's an air sign. For some, it's a earth sign. For some, these people could be involved in that drug smuggling shit, possibly, um, that I'm pulling in in here. For some, it could be something else. Um, only you know you're swinging at anybody else, okay? But definite air sign, earth sign energy. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midheaven, Jupiter charts. The spirit message in that was to basically keep your boundaries and use your intuition and your head, head over heart, head over manipulation. Keep your boundaries placed with these people because 
I tell you, I feel like bad news bears energy here. I feel bad news bears energy. Um, there's a reason they're trying to manip manipulate you. Um, and it obviously is not, it's for their gain and not for yours. Um, or it doesn't even sound like it's positive. And I'm just being for real. I didn't hear specifically what it was. But um, I think the temple path in this aspect is um, you um, using your head over heart and making the right decision for you and setting your boundaries with this manipulation. For some, it could be one person. For some, it could be two. For some, it could be two plus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You plug it in how it resonates, Pisces. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're done. I love you guys so much. Namaste.